Hey guys, how's it going? Hope all is well. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the four specimen papers which have been released by London Institute of Banking and Finance for Unit 1, Part A. That's a multiple choice question paper. It's for financial capability for the immediate and short term, that's Unit 1, and you've probably got the exam coming up relatively shortly, so uh, hopefully this video is useful. I'm going to be going through the four papers that the LIBF have released, also giving you the answers to each of the individual questions. Hopefully it's useful, let's get into it. Okay, the first of the specimen papers the LIBF have released is on your screen, it is specimen paper A, and of course, just like the real thing, there is 45 minutes to complete the examination. Let's get into the first question. The first one is, which of the following is a function of money? Is it a means of A, ensuring stability of value, B, exchange, C, guaranteeing credit, or D, improving a person's credit rating? The answer, of course, is B. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Question 2. For money to function as intended, it needs to be A. Acceptable B. Fixed in value C. No older than five years or D. Unrecognisable The answer, of course, to question 2 is A. Money needs to be accepted by banks, shops and people for it to function. Question number 3. Where are banknotes issued in Northern Ireland legal tender? Is it A. England and Northern Ireland B. England, Scotland and Northern Ireland C. Northern Ireland only or D. They are not legal tender anywhere? The answer, of course, to question 3 is D. Northern Irish banknotes are not legal tender anywhere, including Northern Ireland, but they are widely accepted. Question number four. Question four is British banknotes have a promise on them to pay the bearer on demand the sum of, followed by the amount of money the banknote represents. This promise is signed by the A, Chancellor of the Exchequer, B, Chief Cashier of the Bank of England, C, the Governor of the Bank of England, or D, the Prime Minister. The answer, of course, is B. The Chief Cashier's signature confirms the Bank of England's promise to pay. On to question five, then. At which of the following stages of the personal life cycle is a person aged 25 years? Is it A. Childhood B. Teenager C. Young adult or D. Mature adult The answer to question five is C. The young adult stage of the life cycle covers ages 18 to 25. Question number six. At which stage of the life cycle is someone most likely to get married or have children? Is it A. Young adult B. Mature adult C. Middle age or D. Late middle age? The answer is B. Mature adults aged 26 to 40, is the stage of the life cycle where someone is most likely to get married and or have children. Question number seven. Which of the following would be included when working out demographic change? Is it A. Debt B. Marriage C. Migration or D. Work The answer to question seven is C. Demographic changes, that is, changes to population size and structure through births, deaths and migration. Question number eight. Which of the following is an external factor during the personal life cycle that will significantly affect an individual's position? Is it A. Attitude to risk B. Deciding to start a family C. Increase in the bank rate or D starting a new business? The answer is C. Any change to the bank rate is decided by the Bank of England. On to question number nine then. The interest rate quoted on a savings account is indicated by which of the following? Is it A. AER B. APR C. EAR or D. RPI 
The answer to question nine is A. AER stands for Annual Equ Equivalent Rate, which enables sailors to compare rates from different providers. Question number 10. Which of the following is usually a feature of a savings bond? Is it A. It is for a set period of time. B. It pays a lower rate of interest than an instant access account. C. The rate of interest is variable. Or D. Withdrawals of funds are not restricted. The answer to question 10 is A. A savings bond is normally for a set period of between 1 and 5 years. Question number 11. A key feature of an individual savings account, an ISA, is that A. The interest is always tax-free. B. The interest is paid every three months. C. The interest rate is guaranteed to be no less than the rate of inflation. Or D. There is no maximum amount that can be deposited each year. The answer to question 11 is A. Interest paid on all ISAs is always tax-free. Question 12. National Savings and Investments, NSNI for short, savings products, are popular because the money saved is A. 50% guaranteed. B. 75% guaranteed. C. 85% guaranteed. Or D. 100% guaranteed. The answer to question 12 is D. All NSNI products are 100% guaranteed by the government. Question number 13. Which of the following forms of borrowing requires the amount borrowed to be repaid in full every month? Is it A. Charge card B. Credit card C. Personal loan or D. Store card The answer to question 13 is A. With charge cards, the full amount must be repaid. Question number 14. Which of the following is usually a feature of a personal loan? Is it A. It is for a fixed period of time. B. It usually lasts between 3 and 15 years. C. The amount borrowed is known as the repayment. Or D. The interest rate is variable. The answer to question 14 is A. Personal loans are typically over a fixed period of between 1 and 7 years. Question number 15. Which of the following is usually the most expensive form of borrowing in terms of the interest rate charged? Is it A. Fixed rate mortgage B. Personal loan C. Unauthorised overdraft or D. Variable rate mortgage. The answer is C. Interest for unauthorised overdrafts is likely to be higher, as it is not agreed lending. Question number 16. Building societies are mutual organisations, which means that they are owned by their A. Directors B. Employees C. Members or D shareholders? The answer to question 16 is C. All building societies are owned by their members, i.e. they are mutually owned. Question number 17. Demutualisation describes the process of A. Banks becoming building societies. B. Banks taking over other banks. C. Building societies becoming banks. Or D. Building societies taking over other building societies. The answer to question 17 is C. Demutualisation changes the status of a building society from being owned by its members to being a bank owned by shareholders. Question number 18. Under normal circumstances, the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, FSCS for short, protects the savings of an individual up to what maximum amount? Is it A, £20,000 per person per provider? B, £50,000 per person per provider? C, 
£85,000 per person per provider, or D, £100,000 per person per provider? The answer, of course, to question 18 is C. The maximum in the UK is £85,000. Question number 19. When Brian's provider goes out of business, he discovers that he is not able to reclaim his savings. This is because his provider has not been authorised by the A. Bank of England B. European Central Bank C. Financial Conduct Authority or D. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme The answer to question 19 is C. Providers need to be authorised by the Financial Conduct Authority provide customer protection if the provider goes out of business. Question number 20. Which of the following is responsible for ensuring that all financial services providers operate in a way that benefits consumers and the market as a whole? Is it A. The Financial Conduct Authority, FCA? Is it B. The Financial Policy Committee, FPC? Is it C. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme, FSCS? Or is it D. The Prudential Regulation Authority? PRA. The answer to question 20 is A. It's a key role of the FCA. Question 21. Which of the following best describes a packaged current account? An account that offers the account holder A. An interest rate equal to the rate of inflation. B. An interest rate that is 0.5% above the rate of inflation. C extra benefits for a monthly fee, or D, extra benefits for no monthly fee? The answer to 21 is C. The account packages a number of insurance and non-insurance benefits within the normal current account services. Account holders pay a single monthly fee for the package. Question number 22. Which of the following were introduced in 2004 as part of the government's plans for financial inclusion? Was it A. Basic bank accounts B. Cash ISAs C. Payday loans D. 56 days of interest free on, on credit cards The answer to question 22 is A. Basic bank accounts were introduced ensuring that people have access to banking services. Question 23. Jeffrey has used a card to pay for his shopping using a contactless card, but the money was not taken from his bank account when he checked later that day. Which type of card did he use? Was it A. Cash B. Credit C. Debit or D. Oyster the answer is B. The credit card does not take the money directly from your bank account. Question 24. Which of the following applies to prepaid travel cards? They A. Are only provided through the Visa brand. B. Can be loaded with different currencies. C. Do not allow for the balance to be refunded if the card is stolen. Or D only operate within the European Union? The answer to question 4 is B. A card can be loaded with a specific currency or there are cards that are located, sorry, lo loaded in sterling for use in multiple current countries. Question number 25. In a cash flow forecast, which of the following would be an example of mandatory expenditure? Is it A. Council tax B. Food and drink. C. Gas and electricity. Or D. Rent. The answer to question 25 is A. Council tax has to be paid or there are consequences for the individual. Question 26. Campbell is going on holiday in nine months and still needs to make the final payment of £2,000. Which of the following will help him to achieve his goal without borrowing money? Is it A. 
account balances. B. Authorised overdraft. C. Cash ISA. Or D. Cash flow forecast. The answer to question 26 is D. Cash flow forecast will combine his budgets to see if he can make this large payment. Question 27. Which of the following is an example of someone living beyond their means? They A. Earn more than they spend. B. Have a surplus budget. C. Have problems with HMRC. Or is it D. They spend more than they earn. The answer to question 27 is D. This would give a deficit budget. Question 28. An administration order in England, Wales or Northern Ireland applies to people who have less than which of the following amounts in unsecured debt? Is it A. 5,000 B. 15,000 C. 65,000 or D. 85,000 The answer to question 28 is A. The maximum amount of debt that can be subject to an administration order is £5,000. Question 29. A debt relief order enables a person to write off their debts if they are unable to repay them after what maximum length of time? Is it A. 6 months B. 12 months C. 2 years or D. 5 years the answer to question 29 is B. Debts can be written off after a period of 12 months. Question number 30. Which of the following groups of people will not receive the national minimum wage? Is it A. 16 to 18 year old people? B. 19 to 20 year old people? C. 21 to 22 year old people? Or D. Over 22 year old people? The answer to question 30 is D. Over 22 year old people are entitled to a national living wage. Question 31. Luna works 8 hours a day as a claims handler for an insurance firm. According to the working time regulations, how long of a break, if any, is Luna entitled to? Is it A. Nil B. 20 minutes C. 30 minutes or D 60 minutes? The answer is B. If the working day is longer than six hours, she is entitled to a minimum 20 minute rest or lunch break. Question 32. David earns £21,500 a year. He has a personal allowance of £11,000 and pays an income tax rate of 20% on the amount above the personal allowance. Calculate how much tax he pays. The answer, I'll give you in a second, I better give you the, uh, the options. A, £1,050. B, £2,100. C, £4,300. Or D, £6,500. Now the answer, is B. The calculation is 21,500 minus 11,000 equals 10,500 times 20% equals 2,100. Question number 33. Cynthia is employed and earns £52,000 a year. Her NI, national insurance payments, are A. Class 1 contributions B. Class 1 and 2 contributions C. Class 2 contributions or D. Class 2 and 4 contributions The answer to question 33 is A. They are Class 1 contributions. Question number 34. Lifelong financial planning in the UK has been affected by changes in the age when men and women can receive a state pension. From 2020, this age is A. 60 B. 65 C. 66 or D. 67 The answer to question 34 is C. 
The state pension age for both men and women is 66 in 2020. Before we get on to the last question, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button to get notified of future videos. Question 35. Lifelong financial planning is affected by the length of time a person can expect to live. In the UK, what is the life expectancy of a female born in 2010? Is it A. 75 B. 79 C. 83 or D. 87 The final answer for this specimen paper is C. The life expectancy for a female born in 2010 is 83 and 79 for males. Hold up right there and I'll get to specimen paper B. Okay, let's head on to specimen B. The first question is a local exchange trading scheme, LETS or LETS for short, is a way of accessing goods and services A at a lower cost than the market price, B by borrowing money from the community, C using electronic payments, or D without the need for money? The answer to question one is D. It involves exchanging services and using a system of credits rather than the money itself. Question two, which of the following are known as cash? Is it A, coins only, B, notes only, C, notes and coins only, or D, notes, coins and bank account balances? The answer to question two is C, both notes and coins are known as cash. Question number three. All coins and banknotes of a certain denomination need to be homogenous. Which of the following is the best definition of homogenous? Is it A. They are accepted in shops. B. They have security features. C. They maintain the same value. Or D. They need to look and feel the same. The answer to question three is D. This is the definition of homogenous. Question number four. Which of the following is considered to be money in the UK? Is it A, a charge card, B, a check, C, a debit card, or D, an electronic balance? The answer to question four is D. An electronic balance is considered money in the UK. Question number five. Kevin is aged 57. At which stage of the typical personal life cycle is he? A. A mature adult. B. Middle age. C. Late middle age. Or D. Old age. The answer to question 5 is C. The late middle age stage of the life cycle is generally described as being between ages 55 and 65. Question number six. In which stage of the personal life cycle is someone less likely to want to borrow? Is it A, in childhood, B, young adult, C, mature adult, or D, old age? The answer to question six is D. People in old age will have less income to repay a debt. Question number seven. Which of the following represents an emotional risk? Is it A, failing to repay a debt? B, going bungee jumping? C, investing on the stock market? Or D, trusting your family? The answer to question seven is D. Emotional risks include trusting other people such as spouses, partners, friends and family members. Question number eight. On average, people in the UK are living longer than previously. This is an example of A, a demographic change, B, a social benefit, C, an economic trend, or D, an unexpected influence. The answer to question eight 
is A. Demographic changes include changes to rates of births, deaths and migration. Question number nine. Samira is receiving a lower rate of interest on her savings account than Jody. This is most likely to be because Samira A has a lower account balance than Jody, B has an online account but Jody doesn't, C is five years old than Jody, or D is self-employed and Jody is employed. The answer to question nine is A. Some savings accounts have fixed rate interest, which means the higher rates of interest are paid on higher balances. Question number 10. When choosing a savings product, which of the following is not a relevant factor? A. How often withdrawals can be made. B. How the account is operated. C. Regular monthly fees. Or D. The rate of return. The answer to question 10 is C. Monthly fees are not applied to savings accounts. Question number 11. Adele is aged 17. Which of the following accounts could she open for herself? A. A cash ISA only. B. Stocks and shares ISA only. C. Stocks and shares ISA and cash ISA. Or D. She is not eligible for an ISA. The answer to question 11 is A. Cash ISAs can be opened from age 16. For stocks and shares ISAs, the minimum age is 18. Question 12. In the current tax year, Marius will receive £200 gross interest on his savings account. How much will be credited to his account? A. £120. B. £160. C. £180. Or D. £200. The answer to question number 12 is D. He will receive the gross amount in full. Question 13. Paul is aged 20 and wishes to borrow using an overdraft. Which type of bank account must he have? A. A basic B. Current. C. Savings. Or D. Youth. The answer to question 13 is B. An overdraft is a flexible borrowing facility on a current account. Question number 14. The card verification value, or CVV for short, on a credit card is most likely to be required for which of the following transactions? A. Buying groceries at a supermarket. B. Buying travel insurance at a travel agent. C. Paying for an item in a shop abroad. Or D. Paying for music downloads online. The answer, of course, is D. The CVV is a three-digit number on the back of the debit or credit card and is used to verify online and telephone payments. Question number 15. Which of the following forms of borrowing usually has the lowest interest rate? Is it A, authorised overdraft? B, credit card? C, personal loan? Or D, store card? The answer to question 15 is C. Personal loans usually have the lowest interest rates, lower than overdrafts and credit or store cards. Question number 16. Most UK banks are owned by A. All account holders, B. The government, C. Their members, or D. Their shareholders. The answer to question 16 is D. Most banks are public limited companies and are therefore owned by shareholders. Question number 17. Which of the following is not an example of a common bond that may be required for members to be part of a credit union? Is it A. All have a savings account? B. Belong to a specific organisation? C. Live in the same area? Or D. Work for a specific employer? The answer to question 17 is A. This might be something that people have in common but it's not an example of a common bond relative to joining a credit union. Question number 18. 
Derek and Connie have a joint savings account at a building society with a balance of £190,000. Under normal circumstances, how much of their savings would be covered by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, FSCS, if the building society became insolvent? Is it A, 50,000, B, 85,000, C, 170,000 pounds, or D, 190,000 pounds? The answer to question 18 is C. The maximum protection offered by the FSCS is £85,000 per person per provider. Question number 19. Malik and Nia are married. Both have personal savings account with the same provider and have saved £50,000 each. If the provider goes bust, how much, if any, will the Financial Services Compensation Scheme repay to Malik and Nia altogether? Is it A, £50,000, B, £85,000, C, £100,000, or D, £170,000? The answer to question 19 is C. They will receive £50,000 each, totalling £100,000. Question 20. Which of the following statements about the Financial Ombudsman Service, FOS for short, is true? A. Consumers are charged for the service if their complaint is rejected by the FOS. B. Decisions made by the FOS are legally binding on the firm being complained about. C. The maximum compensation award that can be made is £100,000. Or D. The service is funded directly by the government and through private sponsorship. The answer to question 20 is B. They are not, however, legally binding on the complainant, who may take further action through the courts if they wish. Question 21. Dirk has a packaged current account. Which of the following products is least likely to be included free with his account? Is it A. Car breakdown cover B. House insurance C. Mobile phone insurance or D. Travel insurance The answer to question 21 is B. House insurance would not normally be included as people's needs differ in terms of the amount and the type of cover required. Question number 22. Which of the following types of card is usually available in connection with a basic bank account? Is it A. Charge card B. Prepaid card C. Rail card or D. Reward card? The answer to question 22 is B. This only allows the account holder to take cash out from their own bank. Question 23. Which of the following cannot be used to make a contactless payment? Is it A. A cash card B. An Oyster card C. A smartphone or D. A smartwatch The answer to question 23 is A. A cash card does not have a contactless facility. Question 24. Loretta pays for her petrol using a card that does not have an annual percentage rate, APR. What type of card does she have? Is it A, a cashback card, B, a prepaid card, C, a reward card, or D, a store card? The answer to question 24 is B. A prepaid card does not have an APR as no money is being borrowed. Question 25. Which of the following is an example of unearned income? Is it A. An annual bonus? B. Inheritance? C. Overtime? Or D. Self-employed profits? The answer to question 25 is B. This is awarded to the individual rather than being earned. Question number 26. Cash flow forecasting is not used to identify when a. Irregular income will be received, 
to be, unusually large payments should be made, C, you have to pay VAT, or D, you might have surpluses. The answer to question 26 is C. People can use cash flow forecasting to predict incomes, outgoings, over several periods of time, but not when you have to pay VAT. Question number 27. Harry has been told that he is not eligible for an administration order. This may be because A. He has two CCJs against him. B. He is unemployed. C. His debts are unsecured. Or D. His debts total £6,000. The answer to question 27 is D. Administration orders only apply to debts up to a maximum of £5,000. Question 28. People in financial difficulties should prioritise their debts in terms of the consequences of not paying them and the A. Amount outstanding B. Convenience of the repayment method C. The cost of the borrowing or D. Repayment term the answer to question 28 is C. It makes financial sense to repay the debts with the highest interest rates or costs first. Question 29. If a person is declared bankrupt, their debts are usually written off after A. 6 months, B. 12 months, C. 3 years, or D. 5 years. The answer to question 29 is B. In normal circumstances, bankrupts are discharged after 12 months. Question number 30. Barry works seven hours a day at a local factory. Under the working time regulations, he is therefore entitled to a break of at least A. 20 minutes, B. 30 minutes, C. 40 minutes, or D. 60 minutes. The answer to question 30 is A. If the working day is longer than 6 hours, a minimum break of 20 minutes must be provided. Question number 31. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme protects customers by A. Handling unresolved customer complaints B. Monitoring financial services advertising C. Preventing financial services providers from failing, or D. Repaying customers if a financial services provider becomes insolvent. The answer to question 31 is D. This is the role of the financial services compensation scheme. Question number 32. Harry is a higher rate taxpayer for the last tax year. What rates of income tax? apply to Harry's earnings? Is it A. 10% and 20% only, B. 10, 20 and 40% only, is it C. 20% and 40% only, or is it D. 20%, 40% and 45% only? The answer to question 32 is C. Harry is liable for basic rate and higher rate tax. Question 33. People filing their self-assessment tax return online for a tax year ending 5th of April must do so on or before A. 30th of June in the same calendar year B. 31st of October in the same calendar year 31st of January in the next calendar year or 5th of April in the next calendar year. The answer to question 33 is C. This is the deadline for all online self-assessment returns. A fine is incurred if the return is submitted late. Question number 34. Someone leaving home to live independently will most likely allocate a greater proportion of their income to paying for A. Aspirations B. Needs C. Socialising or D. Wants. The answer to question 34 is B. 
more of their money will be spent on household bills, for example. And finally, question number 35. What is the state pension age for men and women in 2020? Is it A, 60, B, 65, C, 66, or D, 67? The answer to the last question, question 35, is C. The state pension age for men and women is 66 in 2020. Hold on for specimen paper C. OK, let's have a look at specimen paper C. The first question is, Loy has five goats and would like ten sheep. James has ten sheep and would like five goats. An exchange can take place because of A. A coincidence of wants. B. A trade balance. C. The divisibility of the animals. Or D. The importance of animals. The answer to question one is A. The coincidence of wants is a key feature of barter. Question number two. Which of the following terms describes the quantity of goods and services that money can buy? Is it A. Divisibility B. Homogeneity C. Purchasing power or D. Scarcity value The answer to question 2 is C. Purchasing power describes the value of a sum of money in terms of what it can buy at any one moment in time. Question number 3 in the past, one of the disadvantages of using shells as a medium of exchange was that they a. could not be exchanged, b. had no value, c. were not divisible, or d. were not in demand. The answer to question 3 is c. Shells were not divisible. Question number 4. All £10 notes issued in England and Wales need to be homogenous. This means they need to be A, be scarce but sufficient, B, be small enough to carry easily, C, hold their value over time, or D, look and feel the same. The answer to question four is D. Homogenous means that notes of the same value need to look and feel the same. Question number five. During which personal life cycle stage is an adult most likely to rely on the state for their well-being? Is it A, as a young adult, B, mature adult, C, middle age, or D, old age? The answer to question 5 is D. A person of old age is most likely to be reliant on the state for their well-being. Question number 6. Joe is 17 years old. Which of the following is most likely to be his largest expenditure currently? A. Buying a house. B. Changing mobile phone contract. C. Learning to drive. Or D. Travel to a job. The answer to question 6 is C. This is a common form of expenditure for a 17 year old. Question number 7. The stages in the personal life cycle are affected by socio-economic trends. Which of the following is not socio-economic? Is it A. Demographic B. Economic C. Environmental or D. Social The answer is, to question 7, C. These changes are socio-economic. Question number 8. Which of the following is a demographic factor that affects an individual's life cycle? Is it A. Education B. Gender equality C. Life expectancy or D. The welfare state The answer to question 8 is C. This is a demographic factor. Question number 9. National Savings and Investments, NSI for short, products are guaranteed by A. HM Treasury B. The Bank of England C. The Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA or D. The Prudential Regulation Authority, PRA The answer to question 9 is A. The government, through HM Treasury, guarantees all NSNI products. Question number 10. 
Which of the following customers will directly benefit if interest rates rise? A. Aji, who has a stocks and shares ISA. B. Beryl, who has a life assurance policy. C. Rajiv, who has a variable rate cash ISA. Or D. Tony, who has a two-year fixed rate bond. The answer to question 10 is C. He will benefit from the rise in interest rates. Question number 11. Compared to banks and building societies, the UK government's savings products are generally regarded as very A. Cheap B. Easy C. Flexible or D. Safe The answer to question 11 is D. Savings products with banks and building societies are protected up to £85,000, whereas there is no upper limit with UK government savings products. Question number 12. If interest rates are increasing, who is most likely to be better off as a result? Someone who has A, a fixed rate bond, B, a mortgage, C, an interest access, sorry, an instant access savings account, or D, an overdraft? The answer to question 12 is C. The person should receive more interest on their savings account. Question number 13. Dino has a credit score, sorry, credit card, and pays 7% APR. Aldo has a credit card and pays 29% APR. They are both with the same credit card provider. Which of the following could be a reason why Dino pays less than Aldo? A. Aldo earns less than Dino. B. Aldo has less discretionary income than Dino. C. Dino has a better credit score than Aldo. Or D. Dino has a cashback card. The answer to question 13 is C. A credit card provider will base their APRs on a person's credit score. Question number 14. Which of the following is the most flexible way for someone to meet their borrowing needs? A. A mortgage. B. An overdraft. C. A personal loan. Or D. A unit trust. The answer to question 14 is B. Overdraft. An overdraft is a flexible form of borrowing up to an agreed limit. Question number 15. When advertising interest rates, banks must quote the rates on which of the following? A. A daily basis. B. A monthly basis. C. A quarterly basis. Or D. An annual basis. The answer to question 15 is D. An annual basis. Interest must be quoted annually. Question number 16. What is the meaning of the term mutual in relation to building societies? It means that the building society is owned by A. Its customers. B. Its directors. C. The building society's association. Or D. The government. The answer to question 16 is A. The definition of a mutual organisation is that it is owned by its customers. Question number 17. In which of the following ways do some financial services providers specialise? A. By being owned by the government. B. By offering an unlimited range of products. C. By using only some of the possible communication channels. Or D. With no limitations on who can be a customer. The answer to question 17 is C. Specialist providers usually select a limited range of communication channels. Question number 18. The Financial Services Banking Reform Bill includes the concept of ring fencing. For a bank, this means A. Holding depositors' money with the Bank of England to protect it. B. Operating under a single brand name the customers recognise. C. Restricting the number of customers transferring their accounts to other banks. Or D. Separating everyday banking activities from investment banking activities. The answer to question 18 is D. This is to prevent banks from taking unnecessary risks with ordinary customers' money. Question number 19. 
Which of the following bodies has an objective to promote the safety and soundness of financial providers? Is it the A, Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, B, the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, C, the Financial Policy Committee, the FPC, or D, the Prudential Regulation Authority, the PRA? The answer to question 19 is D. This is one of the PRA's objectives under the Financial Services Act of 2012. Question number 20. The Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, reports directly to A. HM Treasury, B. The Bank of England, C. The Financial Ombudsman Service, FOS, or D. The Prudential Regulation Authority, the PRA. The answer to question 20 is A. It reports to HM Treasury and can receive direction from the Financial Policy Committee. Question 21. Which of the following is normally accepted as proof of address when opening a bank account? Is it A. A broadband bill issued six months ago? B. A current gym membership card? C. A student card? Or D. A water bill issued two months ago? The answer to question 21 is D. This is a utility bill and should be accepted if it is less than three months old. Question 22. Chandra and Nina want to save £100 per month into a joint savings account to pay for a holiday. Which of the following would be the most efficient way to achieve this? A. Cash B. Debit card C. Direct debit or D. Standing order The answer to question 22 is D. Standing order allows them to transfer the same amount of money each month. Question 23. The Consumer Rights Act provides protection for goods and services paid for with a credit card up to a maximum value of A. £100 B. £15,000 C. £30,000 or D. £85,000 the answer to question 23 is C. Payments from £100 to £30,000 are covered. Question 24. Zelda has a borrowing product where she must repay a minimum payment of 3% of the balance each month, but can repay more from one month to another. Which of the following could, be borrowing, could the borrowing product be? A. Charge card. B. Credit card. C. Debit card. Or D. Overdraft. The answer to question 24 is B. A credit card requires a minimum payment, but payments are flexible. Question number 25. Leslie is a freelance music writer. Why is it important that Leslie should keep a close eye on his cash flow forecasting? His A. Discretionary expenses are irregular. B. Essential expenses are irregular. C. Income is irregular. Or D. Mandatory expenses are irregular. The answer to question 25 is C. As Leslie is freelance, his income is irregular. Question 26. Josephine gets paid weekly whilst Fernando gets paid monthly. What time period should they each prepare a budget for? A. One week B. One month C. One year or D. The period that they each receive income The answer to question 26 is D. A budget should match the frequency of a person's income Question 27 Margot lives in England and has outstanding unsecured debts of £16,000. She has been unable to repay them after 12 months and wishes to have the debts written off. Which of the following can she use to achieve this? A. An administration order. B. A county court judgment. C. A debt relief order. Or D. 
an individual voluntary arrangement? The answer to question 27 is C. Her debt is below £20,000, so a debt relief order is an available option. Question 28. If someone is declared bankrupt, which of the following debts will not be written off? Is it A, a credit card? B, overdraft? C, personal loan? Or D, student loan? The answer to question 28 is D. Certain debts, like student loans and court fines, are not written off after bankruptcy. Question 29. Which of the following organisations do not provide free advice on debt management? A. Citizens Advice B. The Financial Ombudsman Service C. Money Advice Service or D. The National Debt Line The answer to question 29 is B. The Financial Ombudsman Service helps consumers deal with complaints against financial services providers. Question 30. Simon is unhappy with the decision made by the Financial Ombudsman Service regarding his complaint. What action, if any, can he take? Well, he can A. Appeal to the Financial Conduct Authority B. Appeal to the Financial Services Compensation Scheme C. Do nothing, as the Financial Ombudsman's decision is final Or D. He can take the matter to court the answer to question 30 is D. The consumer can take the matter to court. Question 31. Colin holds £5,000 in his current account with a bank that has failed. What is his position with regards to compensation? He has A. A valid claim and can seek compensation from the Financial Conduct Authority. B. A valid claim and can seek compensation from the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. C. No claim, as it was Colin's choice to deposit his money with the bank. Or D. No claim, as protection does not extend to current accounts. The answer to question 31 is B. Compensation can be claimed from the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Question 32. What is the minimum age that someone must be before they are liable to pay income tax? Is it A, 14, B, 16, C, 18, or D, there is no minimum? The answer to question 32 is D. There is no minimum age for income tax, unlike national insurance. Question number 33. Which of the following defines the amount a person can earn before they have to pay income tax? Is it A. The national insurance th threshold B. The national minimum wage C. Personal allowance Or D. Taxable income ban The answer to question 33 is C. The personal allowance defines how much someone can earn before they have to start paying income tax and national insurance. Question 34. Tom is planning to provide income for his old age. Which type of product is best suited to his needs? Is it A. Contents insurance B. Life assurance C. A personal pension Or D. A savings account the answer to question 34 is C, personal pension. The personal pension is designed to provide income in old age. Question 35. During which stage of the personal life cycle is someone most likely to have paid off their debts? A, a young adult. B, a mature adult. C, middle age. Or D, in late middle age? The answer to this question, the final question of this specimen paper, is D. Late middle age is the stage of the life cycle when a person will most likely have paid off all their debts. Well done if you got 35 out of 35 on this one. I'll see you just in a bit for specimen paper D.
Well done if you've made it this far. Fair infest. The revision will pay off, I assure you. So, the final paper that the London Institute of Banking and Finance have released in terms of Unit 1, Financial Capability for the Immediate and Short Term, was Specimen Paper D. Let's have a look through this one. Question number one. People can borrow money to buy goods now that they cannot afford. This function of money is known as a A. Means of exchange B. Standard measurement of deferred payments C. Store of value or D. Unit of account The answer to question 1 is B. This is where the borrower repays the creditor with interest. Question number two. Bank of England banknotes are legal tender in which of the following countries? A. England only. B. England and Wales only. C. England, Wales and Scotland only. Or D. England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. The answer to question two is B. Bank of England banknotes are legal tender in England and Wales. Question number three. Which of the following is not a feature of money? Is it A. Acceptable, B. Durable, C. Stable, or D. Transferable? The answer to question three is D. Transferability is not a feature of money. Question number four. British banknotes have a promise on them to pay the bearer on demand the sum of followed by the amount of money the banknote represents. Which of the following best describes this particular feature of money? Is it A. Acceptable B. Divisible C. Durable or D. Portable The answer to question 4 is A. Having the promise to pay the sum written on banknotes makes them acceptable as a currency and as a key feature of money. Question number five. Which of the following events is most likely to happen to a person in middle age? A. To buy their first car. B. Children leave home. C. Get married. Or D. Moves away from home. The answer to question 5 is B. Children are most likely to leave their parents' home at this age. Question number 6. Ranesh and Geeta have just paid off their mortgage and their kids have left home. Which of the following life cycle stages are they most likely to be in? Is it A. Young adult B. Mature adult C. Middle age or D, old age? The answer to question 6 is C. At middle age, people are most likely to have paid off their mortgage and their dependents have left home. Question number 7. When a country is producing and selling increasing amounts of goods and services, this is often termed an economic A, boom, B, opportunity, C, recession, or D, situation? The answer to question 7 is A. An economic boom can lead to a greater number of jobs being available and so to lower unemployment and a higher income per person in the country. Question 8. The ability to move between jobs and also to move from one type of job to another is known as career A, change, B, learning, C, migration, or D, mobility? The answer to question 8 is D. This is the correct definition for career mobility. Question number 9. In the current tax year, the limit for a cash ISA is £20,000. Andre opened a cash ISA with Barclays with a current balance of £6,000. Andre received an inheritance of £20,000 and wants to open a new cash ISA with HSBC for this money. How much is he able to deposit into his new HSBC cash ISA in the current tax year? 
Is it A, nil, B, 4,000, C, 14,000, or D, 20,000? The answer to question number nine is A. Savers are only allowed to contribute to one cash ISA and or stocks and shares ISA in a tax year. Question number 10. Luca has transferred savings of £120,000 into a national savings and investment account, earning 0.9% AER. Which of the following statement is true? A. If inflation rises higher than 0.9%, Luca's purchasing power will decrease. B. If the provider defaults, Luca's savings are only protected up to £85,000. C. Luca's account balance will depend on stock market performance. Or D. Luca's interest earnings will be tax-free due to the personal savings allowance, PSA. The answer to question 10 is A. If inflation is higher than AER, the purchasing power of money will decrease. Which of the following question 11 is always true regarding the AER interest paid on savings accounts? Is it A. The interest is calculated monthly. B. The interest is paid before tax is deducted. C. That providers all have first year bonus rates. And D. Providers use different formulas to calculate AER. The answer to question 11 is B. Providers pay all interest on savings accounts gross, i.e. before tax. Question number 12. Jackie is a basic rate taxpayer with a 30 day notice savings account. What is her personal savings allowance? A. Nil. B. £500. C. £1,000. Or D. £10,000. The answer to question 12 is C. Basic rate taxpayers have a personal savings allowance of £1,000. Question number 13. Which of the following forms of borrowing does APR interest apply to? Is it A, a charge card, B, a credit card, C, ISA, or D, premium bonds? The answer to question 13 is B. APR is charged on credit cards, personal loans and store cards. Question number 14. Vincenzi needs to pay for an emergency repair to his car but he will have the money next month to pay for it. Which type of financial services product would be best to cover his needs? A. Credit card. B. A pay payday loan. C. A personal loan. Or D. A store card. The answer to question 14 is A. Depending on when the next statement is due, a cardholder can have an interest-free period of up to 56 days. Question number 15. Eric has a new credit card which charges 20% APR and has not yet been used. Eric spends £300 on his credit card at the end of January and pays off £300 in February. How much interest is Eric charged? A. Nil. B. £5. C. £30. Or D. £60. The answer to question 15 is A. Because a credit card holder can have up to 56 days of interest free. Question number 16. Which of the following is an advantage of using a large bank over a building society? Is it the customers A always receive a better service, B, feel safer as banks are owned by the government, C, have easy access to different products, or D, share in the profits of a bank. The answer to question 16 is C, 
Customers have easy access to different products and services due to the size of a bank. Question number 17. Typically, what is the difference between a credit union and a building society? Is it A, that building societies have shareholders and pay dividends? B, credit unions are only available by post and online? C, credit union members have a common bond? Or D, credit unions offer a larger range of services? The answer to question 17 is C. A credit union is formed when members have a common bond. Question 18. Abraham and Hannah have a joint savings account with their bank. How much of their £200,000 savings would be covered by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme if the bank fails? Is it A. £85,000 B. £100,000 C. £170,000 or D. The full £200,000 The answer to question 18 is C. As there are two people with this provider, 85,000 is doubled. Question 19. To make financial markets work well so that customers get a fair deal is the aim of which of the following organisations? Is it A. The Financial Conduct Authority, the FCA? B. The Financial Ombudsman Service, the FOFs? C. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme, FSCS? Or D. The Prudential Regulation Authority, the PRA. The answer to question 19 is A. This is the aim of the FCA. Question number 20. Kean checked his bank statement and found he was charged £18 last month for going overdrawn. Kean did not go overdrawn last month and complains to the Financial Ombudsman Service, the FOS. What is the most likely reason why the FOS would reject his complaint? A. Kean needs to claim the money from the FSCS. B. Kean needs to contact his bank first. C. The amount Kean has been overcharged does not meet their minimum investigation threshold. Or D. The FOS does not cover overdraft charges. The answer to question 20 is B. The first stage of a complaint is to go to the provider first. Question 21. Which of the following benefits is most likely to be included in a packaged account? A. Building and contents insurance. B. Life assurance. C. Payment protection insurance. Or D. Travel insurance. The answer to question 21 is D. Travel insurance is a low cost policy that could be included in a packaged account. Question 22. Which of the following bank accounts is most likely to suit someone's needs to pay bills and receive a salary? Is it A. A cash ISA B. A credit card C. Current Or D. Notice savings account The answer to question 22 is C. A current account offers a full range of payment methods, usually without charge. Question 23. Luke is 22, has an overdraft on his current account and therefore also has which of the following cards? A. A cash card. B. A credit card. C. A debit card. Or D. A store card. The answer to question 23 is C. A debit card is the card used with a current account. Question 24. Which of the following statements is false regarding prepaid cards? Is it A. An Oyster card is a type of prepaid card. B. They are available with a basic bank account. C. They can be loaded with different currencies. Or D. They can only be used for payment in pound sterling. The answer to question 24 is D. People can choose which currency 
to load onto their travel card and are not restricted to paying in this currency because the currency can be converted to the local currency at the point of sale. Question number 25. Sophia has worked out that she will have a budget deficit next month based on her normal expenditure. Which of the following expenditure group should she look to reduce first? A. Discretionary B. Essential C. Mandatory or D. All expenditure The answer to question 25 is A. Discretional spending is voluntary and on to items that people want. Question number 26. Liam is a self-employed plumber. Why is the cash flow forecast better for Liam instead of a monthly budget? A. Cash flows are more tax efficient. B. His essential expenditure could vary. C. His income could be irregular. Or D. It is easiest to save money for the long term. The answer to question 26 is C. Self-employed people can often have irregular income from month to month. Question 27. Typically, someone with a poor credit history will A. Not find a provider to lend them money. B. Often find a provider to lend them money but at a higher interest rate. C. Often find a provider to lend them money but at a lower interest rate. Or D. Struggle to find a lender. Sorry, struggle to find a provider to lend them money. The answer to question 27 is B. People with poor credit histories can often find a provider to lend them money, but will usually have to pay more for the product. Question 28. Lucas has been told that he does not qualify for a debt relief order. This is because A. He has £30 a month left over after living expenses. B. He has £16,000 worth of debt. C. He owns his own home. Or D. His motorbike is worth £900. The answer to question 28 is C. Lucas cannot apply for a debt relief order if he owns his own home. Question 29. Under an IVA, how long are people legally obligated to make payments for? A. One to two years. B. Three to four years. C. Five to six years. Or D. Until the debt is paid off. The answer to question 29 is C. Under an IVA, people make reduced affordable repayments for five or six years and then their debt is written off. Question 30. From April 2020, which regulatory organisation banned banks and other providers from charging fixed fees for using an overdraft? Was it A? the Competition and Markets Authority, B, the Financial Conduct Authority, C, the Financial Ombudsman Service, or D, the Prudential Regulation Authority? The answer for question 30 is B, the Financial Conduct Authority regulates banks and providers in the UK. Question 31. The PRA sets standards and requirements that providers must meet to manage risk, including threshold conditions for continuing in business. Which of the following is one of these threshold conditions? Is it A. Having fit and healthy staff B. Having suitable management C. Promoting effective competition or D. Protecting customers the answer to question 31 is B. This is one of the four threshold conditions for continuing business, having suitable management. Question number 32. Aisha has only one job, working 25 hours a week, earning £8 per hour. At the end of the week, she was paid less than the £200 she was expecting. This is likely because she... A has exceeded her personal allowance, B 
is earning more than the minimum wage, C was over the income tax threshold, or D was over the national insurance tax threshold? The answer to question 32 is D. The threshold for national insurance is £183 per week. Question 33. Class 1 national insurance contributions are paid by A. Employees B. Employees and the self-employed C. The self-employed only or D. Employers The answer to question 33 is A. Employees pay class 1 contributions. Question 34. At which stage of the personal life cycle are people most likely to pay for life insurance to protect their dependents from long-term financial loss? Is it A. As a teenager, B. Young adult, C. Mature adult, or D. Old age? The answer to question 34 is C. Mature adults are most likely to have dependents who would suffer financial loss if they died. And the final question of specimen paper D is 35. Amy was born in 2010. If she sees a financial advisor as an adult, what life expectancy would the lifelong financial planning be based on? Amy living until she was A. 75 years old, B. 79 years old, C. 83 years old, or D. 87 years old? The answer to question 35 is C, because the life expectancy for a female born in 2010 is 83 years. Thanks ever so much for watching. Good luck in your exam, and I'll see you in the next video.